What's up guys, it's Tristan with Digital CEO and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the ATIM Mini, two Sony A7Rs, this big TV you see right here, and a MacBook Pro to be able to have a triple display, screen share, and our audio setup. Now, you have to forgive the setup. You can see um, in the midst of the cord monster attacking, we got really hungry and had to eat some Cheerios. And a lot of our stuff is all over the place. We've got direct ethernet coming up here so that way we can stream. We've got all the cables you can imagine for HDMI, for our mics, and then even our microphones you see here, which we have soundboards down there. And our studio will continue to change, but I wanna show you how this works because this is something that was really frustrating for us. So if we look at the screen here, you can see that there's, there it seems like there's a lot going on. We have screen number one right here. That's me right there on camera number one on the ATM Mini. Camera number two is our actual computer, which is now zooming me. You can see here I've joined from my phone. That's camera number two. And there might be a little bit of a glare. And then we've got camera number three, which is our overhead camera so we can draw and it's a little upside down but we can say hi and then it would be flipped on the actual display so it's important to note that the a10 mini pro and only the pro has a few hdmi inputs an hdmi out which goes to the actual tv itself the usb out which is coming in here to our uh, flay pal um, hookup where we have the USB feeding, the HDMI feeding, ultimately into the USB-C for the Mac. So all of these are here. Audio out, we're using a Rode audio right now instead of the audio here. And so in the ATEM Mini, you can control your camera. One, two, three. That's how you see the switch on the camera. So if I do that again, Dennis, you'll see one, two, three. And that's the overhead mic on my overhead camera on my face. So, we finally got this figured out. Now here's the secret. The two cameras that you have are very simple. They will plug in from the monitor here and run all the way to the HDMI. That's easy. But the mistake that we were making and you, th that you don't wanna make either is that when you have the HDMI into the computer, you can't go through another USB source or USB-C. You have to display it as a mirror my display. So if you come over here, Dennis, <clears throat> if I go into my system preferences, I can plug the HDMI directly through here or I could use an adapter and plug directly into the Mac. And I can go to my display preferences and I can choose, screen two, I can choose for this to be a second monitor or to mirror my display. So if I click off mirror my display, it's now a second monitor and you could run whatever you wanted, say a screen share or a show. But because we want to be able to see the people we're talking to and we want to be able to look at them instead of looking at our camera, even though our cameras are on us, we're going to click the mirror my display option. I lost my, my mouse because of the arraignment. Give me one moment. Where did this thing go? There we go. And that's going to put whatever we see on this screen here onto the window. So I joined this Zoom call from my cell phone, and I can see now what Tristan effectively sees on the Zoom. So if I were to share my screen and start to give a client a tutorial, you can see that the client can see the screen and that we can still see the client and their camera. You can see little Tristan right there moving around. I can make, uh, I think I can make him bigger. I'm not really sure how to do that, but you can see that I'm there. So that way, when we're communicating with the client, we can always see them even if we're looking at our screen or if we want to just have like a regular discussion and gallery view or speaker view, we can see the client and look more at them instead of being locked into our cameras where you can see if I'm on camera one here and I'm looking at my Zoom, then what does the camera see? It sees me looking away from the client versus here, Hey, Dennis, it's so good to see you. I can't wait to meet up again when we're in Las Vegas. There's a significant difference. So <clears throat> that's how to set up with the A10 Mini Pro. You want to do direct display for mirrored my display so you can see on the zoom. You want to have your HDMI out, go to 
another monitor where it will split your sources by cameras and then you want to plug your cameras up directly. If you guys have any questions about the rest of our setup or equipment, because we do have audio feeding in here as well, maybe we'll give a tutorial on that too, let us know. But that is behind the scenes of our studio setup. See ya. P.S. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's free.